What's up, Nail Geeks? Continuing on with this week's posts, I've got a new to the channel somewhat maker for you all. I have Turtle Tootsie Polish and her brand new spring collection. This is the B Positive Collection and features five soft shimmers and scattered hollows that are a lovely palette for spring. So let's dive right into the swatches. First up is Be Sincere. This is described as a pastel purple scattered hollow cream polish with a blue shimmer. So this is um, definitely what I would consider a purple type of base, but it's very soft and it has a touch of a dusky feel to it. The formula on it has quite a bit of a squish factor to it, though it is very smooth on application here, really easy brush strokes. This does also have very strong self-leveling properties to it. So once again, um, just go in and just trust that it's going to level itself out and all that good stuff. Now for opacity for this entire set, I'm going to recommend between two and three coats, really depending on how you're going to polish. So on this one, I think two coats and you'll be good to go. You can really see the opacity starting to pop like crazy. Some of these I took to three coats and some of them I took to two coats just to kind of give you guys an idea. This is one of the more softer ones in the set. So I felt like my visible nail line, my smile line was showing just a little bit in my bright lights here. So I went in and I just went in with a really thin third coat and you can see really nice plumping action happening here. So personally on Be Sincere, I think three thin coats and you'll be good to go. Now here on the full hand shot, I think you can see just a touch of my smile line still, but please know in person away from all these insanely bright lights that I record in, it's barely noticeable. And next we've got Be Thoughtful. This is described as a pastel pink scattered hollow cream with green shimmer. I loved this one, you guys. After I swatched it, it went right back on my nails and um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I also wanted to get a really good idea of um, just how strong that shimmer was. So on this one, I feel like the shimmer is so apparent and so in your face. It definitely gives like a golden type of glow to it. Um, it's like a greeny golden type of appearance. Very, very pretty. So on this one, I'm going to recommend once again, two to three coats, depending on how you polish across the board. All of these dry down just a little bit on the flat side. So personally, I would recommend a glossy top coat and you'll really get that shimmer to pop. This one popped like crazy on me. It was just so pretty, so delicate, but still really opaque and plump in person. Just really lovely. This one is just gorgeous, flat out. Um, now the hollow effect to all of these, they are very scattered. So get a really soft twinkle um, that is just very, very scattered, which goes in with this whole soft feel from this entire color palette. And next we've got Be Loyal. This is a pastel yellow scattered hollow with a peach shimmer. Another really gorgeous one. I feel like this one is also coming across color accurate to what I'm seeing in person here, at least on my monitor. So the yellow on this is definitely pastel, but um, personally, I do feel like there is a bit of a green lean to it. It's still very pretty. And I think it is one of those really springy type of yellows that just have a touch of a green tinge to it. So this one I feel like has just a slightest bit more um, heaviness to the formula in comparison to the other ones. So on Be Loyal, I would recommend two coats on it. You can see here on that second coat, it is just plumping out like crazy. Very, very pretty. Um, those of you who are new to the channel, I always refer to polishes as plumped out when I'm happy with the opacity and I feel like it's got that nice thick appearance that I always go for. And it's just that nice self level type of effect, almost like a gel polish, if that makes sense. So here, full hand shot. Once again, I've got a glossy top coat on just really lovely. And next we've got Be Honest. This is a pastel mint green scattered hollow with a purple shimmer in it. So this one on the formula to me felt like that first one I showed you Be Sincere the purple. Um, it does have just the slightest bit more of a sheer effect to it, though still very pretty. So on this one, I'm going to recommend going in with three thin coats on it. Um, dry time was no issue whatsoever. Um, just really lovely. So when you build this one up, it's definitely um, what I would consider a minty type of color. Although I do want to note that I feel like this one has just a slightest little bit of a blue type of minty effect to it once you build it up. 
So here you can see that shimmer starting to come out. It's just a lovely, soft, delicate type of palette. Um, I'm really digging it. I think this was another really lovely palette cleanser. They're very flattering and I can see them popping on just about any skin tone. Here on that third coat, you can see that plumping factor starting to happen. It's just popping very nicely. I feel on the full hand shots, you guys are kind of seeing that scattered hollow effect. It is on the soft side, so please note in person, it's one of those finer particle types of hollow um, pigments, so it's just that nice soft type of uh, sparkle effect. Once again, here on the full hand shots, you are seeing a glossy top coat applied, and I am good to go. And last but not least, we've got Be Kind. This is a pastel blue scattered hollow with pink shimmer. So um, this one is another really flattering shade. I really like the base color to this one too. Um, definitely my top picks for this set would have to be um, the pink and the yellow, and then probably this one coming up real close. It also has that somewhat softer type of formula um, as the other lighter colors in this set. So personally on Be Kind, I'm gonna recommend three thin coats on it just to really get it to pop. Now when I build it up here in a moment, you'll see that shimmer is so gorgeous. Um, really lovely base color here. It is definitely a pastel blue, but it's got that really nice kind of whited out effect to it. So here on the third coat, you can see um, I went in really soft on those first two coats and then I'm going in normal on this last coat just to really make it plump and all that good stuff. And you can see that gorgeous shimmer starting to happen. This is such a flattering color. I'm really digging it. And like I said, I think these are gonna be really flattering on just about anybody. Now I did go in a little brush stroke happy on this last one here. Um, my mistake, just trust, it's gonna self level itself out and then give it a minute or two and then go in with your top coat and you'll have a really nice shimmer effect. Now the B Positive Collection will release Sunday, March 29th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. You can grab the full-sized set of all five for 50, or you can grab the mini set for 28, or you can grab individuals full-sized at 11 each, or six for the mini singles. I'll link you guys below to Turtle Tootsie's website so you guys can check that out, as well as her Facebook fan group so you can get in there if you wanna see what's going on and happening in that group too. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.